Eurovision Song Contest organizers have defended disqualifying Dutch contestant Juist Klein from the competition. Klein was removed hours before Saturday's final after an allegation of intimidation was made to Swedish police by a female member of the production crew. Dutch organizers the Netherlands Song Festival said on Saturday that they were shocked by the decision and called it disproportionate. But the Eurovision Broadcasting Union, EBU, said in a statement on Tuesday, the version of events released in some public comments and on social media does not correspond with the statements shared with us and the Swedish police by staff and witnesses. The statement continued, Joost's behavior was in clear breach of contest rules, which are designed to ensure there is a safe working environment for all staff and to protect the production. We are not prejudging the legal process, but, given the circumstances of what occurred and the fact that the police case will shortly be handed to the prosecutor, it would not have been appropriate for Juice to participate in the grand final. It added that the decision to exclude him was backed by the contest's governing body and unanimously supported by the EBU executive board, following a thorough internal investigation. We have a zero-tolerance policy towards inappropriate behavior at our events, and will always take necessary action to address threats to staff, no matter who they come from, the statement concluded. Complaints of bad behavior In a statement posted on X on Sunday, Dutch broadcaster Avertros said it was, very disappointed, and upset for the millions of fans who were excited, about seeing the Netherlands entry. Many fans had also taken to social media to voice their dismay. The latest statement from the EBU follows a turbulent Eurovision season, which culminated with Switzerland's Nemo picking up the coveted winner's trophy in Sweden on Saturday. On Monday, the EBU issued another statement, responding to complaints of bad behavior during the competition's run. The organizers said they regret that some delegations didn't respect the spirit of the rules in Sweden. Italy's Angelina Mango and Ireland's Bambi Thug were among the contestants, who complained of a tense and horrible atmosphere backstage. The EBU said it would review events in Sweden's Mamo, adding that individual cases would be discussed at a later date. Portugal's national broadcaster RTP also complained to the EBU after there was a delay in posting its performance to YouTube after the final. The EBU responded that the delay had been due to their contestant, Iolanda, who had painted designs inspired by the kefia, traditional Palestinian scarves used to show support for the country, on her nails thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel and like share my videos.